In this video, I will be trying to build a single wheel coaster in 1 minute, 10 minutes, and 1 hour. And the 1 minute goes in now. Okay, of course we want to have a station. And this time we're just going to make a small turn to the left. Okay, then we want, of course, a chain lift all the way going up. Not too high. I think that's probably good enough. Okay, and then we are, of course, as always, going to add a small turn to the left. And I think I'm actually going to add an inversion in this time. I don't think I ever add an inversion. So that means we also have to do all of this. And just put this on, I don't know, a random number. Okay, okay, okay. We have a little bit of time left. This looks fantastic. Very ugly. I know. I know. This looks ugly. I... Oh, this is hideous. Okay, well, uh, can I do zero? Probably not. Dip it like this. Okay, zero degrees. Yeah, perfect. Okay, then we need, of course, the brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Uh, the third, the third, the third, the third. Uh, the third. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made it. That was very close. And... Oh, no. This... <laughs> Let's do a POV. Okay, here we go. We are going down and this coast is not good. The inversion is... Of course, it's not extremely rough, but it's just... It's really, really bad. All right, let's go to the 10-minute coaster. So, for the 10-minute coaster, I am planning to use the lounge. We got that, I think, like a few months ago in a update randomly. Why not use it? I don't think I've actually built a lounge single wheel coaster. So, this is also going to be the first time for me. First, I want to add a... Yeah, a nice-looking turn right here and... And then we, of course, need to go straight again. Something like this seems to be good enough. Then we, of course, want to have the boosters. Those are just going to be straight on here. And then I want to have some sort of... Yeah, how can we call it? Not a dive loop, not an animal man. A weird inversion. For that, I actually want to have actually some sort of... Yeah, this. I don't want to make it like inverting. I think I can say like that. So, And it won't also be like an extremely high thing. So I think actually... I don't know how smooth this is going to be but actually this is looking pretty good and then of course we also want to go down and actually i think turn to the right yeah something like this and then we're of course going to use the smooth technique that's looking something like this yeah that's actually looking very strange but actually i kind of like it okay 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 well uh, let's first test it and uh, see if it actually makes the layout okay here we go sitting in the train and i'm also scared that the boosters are actually a little bit too hard but we'll of course see right now here we go going up and that's actually a little bit too quick i want to have almost making it so i think we have to yeah, get rid of half of the lounge i think this is probably good enough okay here we go yeah that's a, that's a, that's way better that's way better all right let's continue and right now i'm going to add some sort of pivot offset to around three because i want to add an inversion right here so first we are going up i don't know what sort of inversion i want to add right here but we will just test some things out so we're going up up, and then we are going to rotate the other way around again as much as possible so that's around this then we of course need to have the smooth option right in here a bit much actually something like this and then of course we also need to have this one smoothing okay let's let's see what's going to do now then we of course do 180 degrees does it do that of course it doesn't so we have to go a little bit ah 175 is good enough and i am doing way too much for a 10 minute coast i don't have time to make is actually perfect what i'm now doing so i need to actually go and continue with this inversion so don't don't make this perfect you don't have time for that i know this looks actually hideous now that i'm looking at it and it's probably not even going to be smooth but i still want to add it and we are just going to continue with the coaster from this point on I'm going to do the same as we did right there with the smooth option this looks all right actually not gonna lie doesn't look terrible but i i have i, I have seen worse but i've also seen better okay then i probably just want to have a turn which will be going back so then we're going to add a s turn like that oh that looks good which of course also is going quite a lot up and now that i'm seeing it i still have my pivot offset enabled so this yeah looks a little bit weird let's disable that otherwise it will do sometimes some weird stuff and then of course you want to probably go down again and continue this turn to the right something like this yeah from this point on i don't know what to do with the layout so i am just probably going to add some random <laughs> turns everywhere i don't know what i'm going to do i really don't know i really don't know okay maybe just a barrel roll. i think a barrel can fit that means we also have to do the pivot offset on four which means i want to do 100 
130. No, no, no. Minus 130. That's a bit better. And then we are going down around the same. And then we're going to do 130. And now we have quite a good looking inversion. Maybe add a little bit more in this. Maybe a bit more up. And I'm really curious how that's going to look. Around 3 minutes left. Which is alright, alright, alright. I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. That actually looks quite good now that I'm looking at it. Okay, then we of course slowly need to remove pivot offset again right there luckily that now works way better and doesn't look too ugly as you can see the transition what i'm now going to do i don't know i really don't know i don't have a lot of times with this coaster so something like this yeah why not and then we're going to add another turn back and probably in the break room i i also have no idea how much speed this coaster has left i haven't tested it in like eight minutes okay let's let's hope it just doesn't go too quick for this if it does set okay and then we're going to add probably the block breaks here because i still need to probably change some of the speeds and stuff of course add some hard line on that okay and then we want to have of course some i, I guess just block breaks why not en enough block breaks then we want to have to turn back oh, no. <coughs> okay at the turn back right like that that's good enough it doesn't have to be perfect this is actually a really nice and big layout okay let's test it and see if we actually need to change any of the operations while we're testing it we're also going to change the colors because if i'm honest i hate these so let's make what is why is there oh i think the color thing is broken great i think i actually want to do some sort of blue color for the track ah that's actually not hideous and maybe some white supports Ooh, that can look and by the way this coaster is going through with like the perfect speed so far yeah this is all good this is all good and in the brakes oh wow okay um that actually went very good the only thing i still need to do is change some of the color trains because yeah these red ones are terrible at the same time so maybe some white white yellow white yellow mm, white yellow not really yeah i think just white blue with the same color as the coaster is good enough all right i think i'm done i have around 30 seconds left i'm actually not gonna lie pretty happy with this layout of course it's quite short but it still has like two and a half inversion a lounge it's actually still quite nice i could add way more to the coaster but as you saw i i only had 30 seconds left so i'm pretty happy with this coast all right i think let's test it so of course this we have already seen we are going down and then straight up to the lounge which goes actually quite quick and then we're going through this yeah i think we can call it a non-inverting loop something like it I, I don't even know then we have this somewhat smooth zero g roll with this turn and then in the barrel which as you can see is very very smooth i'm really happy with that then we have some turns into the brakes all right yeah the only thing that could really be improved is of course this inversion it looks not really roundish but for the rest i'm pretty happy with this coaster it's maybe a short but for the rest it's good i'm happy let's go to the one hour coaster so for the one coaster we are of course going big as always so of course we're going to place quite a big station actually this time and i am planning to build a chain lift this time i am planning to build a little bit like jersey devil like a yeah how do you say it a mega hyper single rail coaster something like that which could actually look pretty cool with some very funky and cool looking inversions that which you of course will be seeing later so up the chain lift right here first a very small piece straight and i think chain lift pretty wise is going to be pretty steep we don't have a lot of room that's why i'm also doing it sideways i think actually something like this and then we're just going to go up i don't know how high i want to go up but i have to say probably something like this is not bad not bad i yeah the, oh this is huge okay then we are here and then guys we are going to go more than 90 degrees down because i actually want to add some sort of almost something like that oh that looks insane just going i think you can say 95 degree drop that's yeah that's very very high i'm really happy with that all right and then we of course want to go to the ground again which i think will actually be going a little bit for the ground which i'm pretty happy with and oh my god that drop guys that looks hot. That that looks hot. I think we're going to do a little bit the same as what we did with the 10-minute coaster. Like, I really enjoyed that non-inverting yeah, loop Immelman. I don't even know what's called, actually, because I am stupid. So, I think I'm actually going to do something similar to that. Not, of course, do the exact same. Because the coaster is, of course, also going way quicker. And maybe rotate this piece a bit more. So, it's, I think this one will still be going inverted. All right. Then we want to, of course, go down. And then we are going this way. 
and then we are going to go this and I'm not sure if you can call this inverted it's it's almost there yeah as you can see this is already looking way smoother than the 10 minute coach because I can just take a little bit more of my time with like seeing where the, I need to place the pieces if the profiling is good off the track so yeah this looks uh, around the same all right then we of course want to go down and we want to go down quite a lot and then of course we're going to also do what we did with the other coaster is just one straight thing like this and then of course we are going a bit to the left and add some hard line something like this is all right and then we're just going to do one more piece before we test the coast and see if it's actually something good which we'll be doing like this and now it's sort of looking the same but i'm, I'm going to change it up after this okay yeah i want a really long coast to try for this six is probably good enough and then we are of course also going to test it and see if this is good and i'm definitely going to increase the chain lift speed after this because this takes ages two thousand years later and I just noticed I am green screened. A great time. You, uh, you can now see through me. That's amazing. All right. Great time. Let's, let's go through. Here we are going down. And this is all looking very smooth. Very good. Oh, that's smooth. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really smooth. All right. I'm really happy with that. That goes like with the perfect speed. All right. Let's finish this coaster in a form of a time lapse. Okay, okay, okay. As you've seen, I bought this coaster actually very, very quick. I still have around 30 minutes left on the clock and I am just already done as you can see. And I just tried to make it longer and longer and longer and at the end it almost doesn't have enough speed to make it. So yeah, I don't know. I just went very, very quick for it. Of course, we got the new smooth tool. So that also makes everything way, way easier. But if I'm honest, I think this is one of the easier coaster models to make. If you're going to make like the 4D coaster and the multi long shows take a little bit more time. But I am personally very happy with the end result. I think it's a very nice compact layout as you can see. It is yeah, just very, very compact. It's, it has a lot it has still this non-inverting stuff it has a zero g stop right here it has like a 180 degree also stall but then it goes back again and at the end it even has a very smooth barrel roll, as you can see right here and um, it just worked perfectly with two trains i chose as you can see for a different color this time i thought well let's do some sort of pink purple but yeah just this view when like looking from here i, I can imagine it be uh, having a path right here and just seeing this that's that's an amazing view but of course there's only one thing you guys really want to see and that's the pov so let's do that
So guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. As you can see, only 26% is actually subscribed to my channel. And we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So please subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching. Go watch this video. And I will say, guys, as always, goodbye.